Oh, it has been a long time coming. Yes, it was May of 2005 when Ralph Klein's government announced plans for a new Royal Alberta Museum. That was the spring that Queen Elizabeth II came here to Edmonton to help us mark Alberta's centennial. And now, 13 and a half years later, that museum is finally about to open. Of course, the museum that's opening isn't the museum that was initially planned. Once upon a time, they were going to build the new museum on the site of the old one in Glenora. That was back in 2005. That plan was derailed and it was in 2011 that Premier Ed Stelmack announced plans for a new museum in downtown Edmonton on the site of the old post office. And then that was almost derailed when Allison Redford announced that the museum wasn't going to go ahead because of cost factors. And then, even after Allison Redford backed down and swore to go ahead with the museum, Danielle Smith ran against her and nearly won the premiership, arguing, among other things, that she would cancel the project. And so, you can forgive me if I'm hopping up and down with excitement at the prospect of the museum finally about to open. It's been a long wait in the short term, too, because the building was finished in 2016. It's taken more than two years for the Royal Alberta Museum staff to kit the place out with all the exhibits and all of the artifacts and all of the audiovisual aids. And now, this Wednesday, the museum, designed by Donna Clare and Michael Lundholm, is finally set to open. Its goal? To give us a new perspective and a new view on Alberta, Albertans, and the story of how we came to be here. And its goal, too, to reinvigorate and revitalize a corner of the downtown that's often been forgotten. I don't know if you'll be in line on Wednesday when the doors open, but the good news is that the museum will be there to welcome us all for years and decades and generations to come.